Over the last five years, WTM's World Responsible Tourism Day has made a huge impact across every continent, helping to lift many communities out of poverty, saving lives and ensuring education for more children. Travel and tourism is uniquely placed to create a positive effect worldwide, from working practices to distributing earnings fairly, from teaching locals core skills to providing clean water. Throughout 2011, we've been closely following some of the champions of responsible tourism and have given video cameras to specific projects to pay recognition to how real work can make a real difference, where ideas and theory have transformed into life-changing practices. Gambia is Good is a joint initiative launched between horticultural companies and NGOs. It's bridged the gap to help poor local farmers sell to the tourist industry. We go with our trucks, collect the vegetables, bring it to a central location, sort it out, and then wait for orders every morning from hotels and restaurants. The scheme has also trained over a thousand farmers, many of them women, in efficient farming methods and delivering high quality produce. It's now much easier for us to get crops to market and we've received really good training in farming practices. It's made a huge difference to our lives. Hi, my name is Claude Graves. Uh, together with my wife, uh, Petra, we founded and built Nihiwata Resort on the island of Sumba it's in eastern Indonesia. The foundation is about creating health. We have five clinics. Uh, we focus on malaria. We've reduced malaria in a region of about 120 square miles by 85%. We support 14 schools overall. Those kids have libraries now, school supplies, uh, they even have school lunches. It's pretty good. In Costa Rica, the DeSavio Adventure Company has invested in people way beyond the benefits to their own business. As well as employing their own staff, they're fostering entrepreneurship in the area. I get great support from them. Everything that I need, I, I get it. company like DeSavio, you can grow super easy. A child dies every 20 seconds because of dirty, polluted water. It's the biggest killer of children under five. In a remote area bordering the Samburu Nature Reserve of northwest Kenya, a three-year drought has taken its toll, with children as young as six forced to risk their lives to get water from the river. We have seen a lot of cases, including in this school, of children being eaten by crocodiles. The same water people are using to drink, the same water people are using to bath, the same water livestock are drinking, and every other thing. So the level of hygiene of the water is really very low. Just a Drop is a registered charity that helps to provide clean water and sanitation in some of the poorest parts of the developing world. At the Westgate Project, clean water is now on tap for nearly 2,500 locals. What you've seen are local projects of international significance. We have put in £800,000 directly into the hands of Gambian farmers since we started. As a small company, like the one I have, it's, it, to me it's huge. As we salute the heroes of responsible tourism, it's a reminder that we can all make an impact. Basically what we're trying to do is set the foundation so that uh, the people can find their own way out of poverty. World Responsible Tourism Day. What will you commit to?